Hey, this is Justin Case, and if you, you look up on top of my roof there, I got my CBRS cell installed, yeah. And so today I am going to talk to you about the top 10 woes with 5G helium mining when it comes to Freedom Fi and CBRS cells. But uh, before I get started, uh, I'm, I'm going to go back in the house because it, it's cold out here. It just snowed last night and um, I was already cold yesterday making a video. I don't want to be cold again today. Okay, now we're inside. It's comfortable. I'm by the fireplace. So let's get going. Um, number 10. Should have done this back in 2022. I don't know if all of you know this, but back in 2022 in October, they started giving out Genesis rewards. As it reads right here, the Helium Foundation will work with the core developers to initiate the Genesis period of mobile rewards. 100 million tokens will be programmatically issued per day to all active Helium 5G hotspots during the Genesis period. So if you were there in 2022 with an active 5G hotspot, you made some tokens and good for you. Unfortunately, I'm not there then. Ugh. That's just, that's that's a pain point for me. All right, and that being said, um, we're gonna talk about uh, Freedom Fi hotspots and the CBRS, mine, um, CBRS cell antenna that's required for it. We're just gonna reference that as uh, 5G hotspot as much as we can from this point forward. So then there's HIP 101. And HIP 101, if you are a 5G hotspot owner, it does not like you. Uh, it is currently called Equalizing POC Rewards Across Wi-Fi and CBRS, but it used to be called what it actually is doing, which is Increase POC Reward Points for Wi-Fi Access Points. Uh, people got very mad hearing that's what they wanted to do, and so Helium, uh, who... Uh, propose this, uh, change the title in hoping that being more PC about it or lying about it would get people to approve it. Um, and I say that Helium proposed this because it says there it was proposed by Zero Tweets and in parentheses it says Nova Labs. Uh, I'm assuming it's saying Nova Labs right there because Zero Tweets is Helium. If I'm wrong, please let me know, but there's a lot of wrong in this. Now, First of all, I don't, I mean, I don't mind the concept. I, I understand we want to get more Wi-Fi hotspots out there and they want to incentivize people to do it. Honestly, there's so many coming up on the network right now. I don't think it needs this kind of incentive, but, uh, but here it is. So they want to give indoor Wi-Fi hotspots a increase of a 1.5 multiplier and outdoor Wi-Fi hotspots an increase of 2.5 as a multiplier. Um, they're basing this off of the ROI that you can get for an indoor Wi-Fi hotspot versus a 5G hotspot. And the problem that I have with this right here is that the numbers are inaccurate. First of all, they should be comparing both indoor Wi-Fi and outdoor Wi-Fi. But secondly, they're not including the price of the Freedom Fi hotspot itself, which is $9.99. And they're claiming that a CBRS cell costs only $600 and they're using a used price example on eBay. Well, I paid for mine new from uh, uh, De Deploy Helium and it was $15.99. Um, you got to change these numbers because if you're going to tell me that you've based the multipliers on the ROI, uh, you, you should use correct information. If you guys can please tell someone in Discord or get some moderators to change it, I don't know, but this, this stuff should be accurate. Okay, number eight, CBRSs have issues. Now, I wish somebody would have told me this a little bit sooner before I bought one, but yes, there is a issue with handoff sessions between macro networks like T-Mobile and a CBRS cell. And that's one reason why we have HIP 101 happening. That's another reason also why there is currently no data transfer between, uh, well, jumping from T-Mobile to a CBRS cell. They're not doing it. And because they're not doing it, there's also no data transfer rewards for us that have uh, 5G hotspots. So that does not make me happy. Um, I mean, we know 
Proof of coverage rewards are going down, but data transfer rewards therefore should be going up. And if we're not allowed to get any, uh, that's just another reason why uh, these are woes for us uh, 5G hotspot owners. All right, also number seven, um, Wi-Fi hotspots are reducing 5G hotspot rewards fast. If you look online right now, there is almost uh, 2,500 Wi-Fi hotspots on the network and more coming on every day. Uh, there is a back order on both uh, the indoor and outdoor miners. It's crazy, uh, but it's good for the network. I'm happy to hear about it for the network, but I mean, you know that means you're going to have less rewards as a 5G hotspot owner. Now, if you choose, regardless of all of this, to go buy uh, a 5G hotspot, well, number six, uh, equipment pricing's jacked. Uh, so first of all, um, Freedom Fi uh, doesn't have these. They're not selling them directly anymore. Uh, I found that uh, Helium Deploy, I think I accidentally called it Deploy Helium before, uh, Helium Deploy uh, does have them available. It's $9.99 for the hotspot itself. Uh, for the antenna, uh, it's at least $15.99. Uh, you can get it on Amazon from them for like $13.49, I believe. Uh, but it's expensive, and it didn't used to be expensive. Just this summer, they were trying to sell them for like $4.99. So it's a little crazy that they're back to $15.99 now. I understand, uh, you know, Helium Deploy is just trying to make its money back. But, oh, it's, it's a gut punch. And also, many people... They, realizing these are directional based antennas, they need to buy three or four of them. So just getting into having a 5G hotspot is super expensive. And with all of the problems going on, I, people should be just warning us not to get into it or, or lowering the prices or something. But if you want to detour us, then detour us with a statement letting us know we shouldn't be doing it. And that's kind of why I'm sending out this top 10 list because I'm trying to tell you it, it, it's probably not worth it. Okay, if you do choose to go in, then there's number five. Oh, the roof installation is a pain. So before this snow hit, I, I did the roof installation with my friend, he came over. Uh, if you're interested, by the way, and live in the Denver area, he's available uh, to help do roof installations. Uh, but uh, we had to get this uh, J bracket. Uh, it was uh, 40 inches tall. It was pretty hardcore, um, but it installed well. We had to have, uh, what did he call it? Uh, tar to put in between the system to make sure that uh, once you drilled the holes in the roof, the roof doesn't leak because of it. So there's a lot of details to, to make sure that your house is safe during the whole process. And then, you know, I, I had to get like a, a 50 foot outdoor Cat 6 uh, to hook it up to, uh, to go down to, uh, to get power over internet or ethernet uh, through it and trying to figure out how to get it through a window. I ended up having to buy a ribbon cable, which I don't know if it's been safe from the weather yet, but the ribbon cable was the best way of getting it through a window uh, without um, destroying the cable or having to drill a hole through the wall. It's a whole tedious process and it was cold as hell on my roof uh during this so i'm just saying you know this it's a huge ordeal and i suppose even with an outdoor uh wi-fi hotspot you're gonna have this issue but just to warn you it's a pain okay that being said now we're getting into the whole process of onboarding which is also a pain so number four having an invalid serial number so that's what happened to me. Uh, I tried to onboard my device and the first thing I got was invalid serial number. I contacted uh, FreedomFi's support. Support does take a while to get back to you and then they never responded when it was fixed. It did get fixed eventually though and it might've actually been due to an outage. I, I went to their website and I saw that they had an onboarding outage. So maybe that was actually the reason why. I don't know. I, I kind of think the reason is because it's something that was probably in a box from 2022 and now they've updated the firmware and the software and 
and everything else and uh you know th things take time to sink back up in order to do your next steps which brings me actually to number three uh wrong software version so as i said uh this was probably boxed up back in 2022 the Freedom Fi uh, 5G hotspot that I got, and uh, it has the wrong software version on it. It has software version 1.3. I'm told that the system will automatically update it to 1.9 in just a day or two. It's been four days. I have contacted support. Support has not responded. Re uh, support says it'll take like a day on average to respond. Not a day. Not so far. Nobody's helping me. I'm super frustrated. I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping that this will all update on its own eventually. Yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah. So jumping to number two, which I haven't even gotten to because I mentioned uh, I'm on 1.3. I need 1.9 of the software for the CBRSL until I get it. I can't actually register the CBRS cell, and I need to in order to start getting rewards. So this brings up, like I said, uh, number two, uh, the installation CPI approval process. So once I can register, we then need to get CPI approval. This means that you have to send them uh, the height of how how high up you have placed your CBRS cell and you need two to four photos to document the accuracy uh, for the uh, azimuth angle uh, they want at least one photo that verifies accuracy for the elevation angle they need one photo to verify accuracy and then all of this uh, they have a it said about three days to get approval and i suppose if you don't get approval that hopefully will they'll tell you what you need to do to get approval but it it sounds like a super pain um i'm getting ready for that pain but until until I get the upgrade to version 1.9 of the software, I can't even register. So that's a pain in itself. So this, this whole installation process is a super pain. And then assuming when it's done that everything is working and I finally get rewards, I hear the next pain is that number one, POC rewards won't match the modeled coverage. Look, most of us got into this like me, because I went online, I went to the planner, and the planner showed me that this is how much I could make because this was the modeled coverage of my miner at that uh, height, in that azimuth angle, and that elevation. And they got all that, they verified it, and then all of a sudden we get way less amount of, uh, of mobile tokens than we were told because... The rewards don't match the model coverage. Uh, now, this was noted in Discord. This was a message sent out. It basically says, contact Freedom Fi. And uh, like I said, Freedom Fi is very slow to respond. So <sighs> cross your fingers. They fix the problem. Who knows? But <sighs> oh my God, you do all of this. You deal with all of these problems just to finally get the correct uh, POC rewards based off of coverage, only to find out that they're modeling your coverage wrong. So that, in a nutshell, is the Helium 5G mining woes that I have, my, my top 10. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I, I am not enjoying this whole process. I wish I hadn't started it. I wish I just would have jumped onto the Wi-Fi bandwagon, and I recommend you do forget this cbrs stuff until they've worked out the issues um, you could be you know spending somewhere from 25.99 to uh, add add on an extra 3200 to that for two more um cbrs cells in order to get uh, maximum coverage and you just don't want to put that money down in order to have something that may not even at the end be used by the Helium Network. So thanks for watching. 
Please like and describe. <laughs> Did I even say that right? Oh, it's a Monday. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day.